Three months ago, 43-year-old Aneto Kumu, a mother of six, was running a cake-making business on a busy street in Nairobi, and her husband had regular work as a painter. Then Kenya's Minister of Health announced the country's first coronavirus case. Less than a week later, no one was buying cakes from Okumu, and her husband stopped getting jobs. Okumu's child, born with sickle cell anemia, started to get sick after several days of not taking medication. So at this time, it is, there is no food, there is no breakfast, no lunch, no supper. For two days, I wondered, what next? Am I going to lose my kid? So when I saw a doctor family, it was late at night through social media. That is when I decided, enough is enough. Let me speak out. Annette called the number on the Adopt a Family Facebook page. Moses Omondi picked up the late night call and asked Annette to meet him the next day. The idea Adopt a Family as an initiative basically started uh, the last, the, towards the end of March. When the government had issued the directive of a stay at home, social distancing, and uh, avoiding physical contact, basically it led to many of uh, the employees, you know, closing shop in order to adhere to the directives. Uh, in, the, in, in the process, there are people who are relying from hand to mouth these two manual labors and, and, and stuff. Most of them lost their jobs. I sat and thought, what can I do that can adhere to the government directives? That's when I thought, why don't I look for families who can support a family? On the night that Aneto Kumu made a call to Omondi, Joby Tange, a video editor in Nairobi, was on his phone reading about the Adopt a Family initiative. Bitange reached out to Omondi the following morning and was connected to Annette Okumu. Soon, Okumu's family had their first meal in two days. I decided to support one family by giving them a voucher. And he told me that the voucher that I gave, he, I gave him was, was actually supposed to support the family, to feed the family for, for one week. Yeah, so come the second week, I also gave him another voucher. And very many people now came in because they knew I was part of the program because I was among the first people who joined his, his team. In less than three months, the initiative has connected 460 families from the slum to another 460 families who give them financial support. In early March, following a stampede in Kibera that killed two people, the government said it would pilot a cash transfer program to help the most vulnerable members of society buy food during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many Kibera residents say they have not received that cash, however. Government representatives in Kibera say they are doing their best to help the needy during this time and that personal initiatives such as Omondi's are important in filling gaps. And the government also came up with uh, the vulnerable persons in the community who get some support from the government itself, uh, the aged, the orphans, the widows and the and other, others, the bedridden. So, so far, the government has done very well. But you see, as a, you cannot do it alone. You need partners. And this is where we say the likes of Omondi are the best in the world. Apart from direct money transfers, Adopt a Family conducts food distribution drives for needy families. They also run a feeding program for children in the slum where Annette volunteers her time cooking. Ryan Lombor for VOA News, Nairobi.